Andrew Carlson Incident In 2003, Andrew Carlson made headlines when he was arrested by the FBI. He claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2256. His story began when he turned $800 into $350 million in just two weeks through stock trading. This amazing feat raised suspicions and led to his arrest on charges of insider trading. During his interrogation, Carlson confessed to being from the future. He said he knew which stocks would go up because of his knowledge of future events. He even offered to share information about Osama bin Laden's location and a cure for AIDS in exchange for a lighter sentence. The FBI didn't believe his wild claims, but they couldn't explain his incredible success in the stock market either. There were no records of Carlson existing before December 2002, adding to the mystery. Despite the strange story, no evidence was found to prove his time travel claim. Eventually, Carlson disappeared without a trace before his court hearing on April 3rd leaving many to wonder if he was telling the truth or if it was all an elaborate hoax. This incident sparked a lot of curiosity about time travel, leading people to wonder, what's the real reason we don't have time travel? Watch the video till the end to find out the answer and the truth behind time travel. Possible Ways of Time Travel People have been fascinated by time travel since the early 1900s. It became super popular after H.G. Wells wrote the novel The Time Machine in 1895, which made the idea of time travel really famous and got everyone thinking about it. This story didn't just inspire writers, it also got philosophers and scientists curious about what time travel could mean and all the tricky things that might happen if we could do it. Since then, lots of movies have come out exploring time travel in different ways, like changing the past or seeing what the future could be like. So, apparently, there are some ways of time traveling. One of these ways is traveling only to the future, shown in movies like Interstellar. Here, the time travel goes forward in time but can't go back. They see big changes in how things are, like society and technology, and have to deal with what happens because of their time jump. Another interesting way is instant time jumping, like in movies such as Back to the Future. In this type of time travel, a machine lets a person jump from one time to another in a flash, changing what happened before and what will happen next. The third way is time moving around the time. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, there is a special way time works. The person traveling in time stays in one spot, while time moves around them. This lets them go back to important moments and change what happens. The next way is slow time travel, as in the movie Primer. Here, the time traveler goes into a special place where time moves slower. So, while they spend a short time inside, a lot more time passes outside. This lets them go back in time bit by bit, but it needs a lot of planning and handling time just right. Lastly, there's traveling at the speed of light, like Superman does in the movie from 1978. It's a really exciting idea, but it's mostly just a theory. In the story, Superman can go faster than light, which lets him move through time. He uses this power to change important moments and stop bad things from happening. Now, which one of these sounds more likely to be possible? Possibility of time travel Before getting the answer to this, Think about time travel broadly as future time traveling and past time traveling. For example, Andrew Carlson was a time traveler from the future, and he earned a huge profit by investing, just like how Spider-Man saves the world in movies. But is time travel possible in real life? Isaac Newton's idea about time being constant came about in the 17th century. People believed this for a long time almost until the early 20th century, then Albert Einstein changed this with his theory of relativity. He said time isn't always the same everywhere, instead, it can speed up or slow down, like a river flowing fast or slow. This was a big shift in how we think about time and space. Einstein's theory talks about how time, speed, and gravity are connected. If something moves very fast or is near a big object with lots of gravity, time can change. This change in time is called time dilation. Two factors of time travel For example, imagine two people, one on Earth and the other flying through space really fast. The person on Earth sees time as normal, but the fast-moving person sees time slow down. This happens more as they get closer to the speed of light. Gravity also affects time. Near a huge star or black hole, time goes slower than on Earth. This is called gravitational time dilation. Clocks closer to these massive objects tick slower than clocks farther away. 
These ideas are big in science and have real-world uses. For instance, GPS satellites in space move fast and are in weaker gravity, so they have to adjust for time dilation to give us accurate navigation. In 1971, a major analysis called the Huffelak heating experiment showed how time can change using atomic clocks. Scientists put four very accurate cesium beam atomic clocks, two flown around the world on commercial flights in opposite directions, and two on the ground as a control. They found something amazing. The clocks on the planes, moving fast, ran a bit slower than the ones on the ground. This matched what Einstein's theory of relativity predicted. Time can pass differently from moving objects. It proved the idea of time dilation. Time dilation means that time can speed up or slow down depending on how fast you're moving and how strong the gravity is. This goes against our usual idea that time is always the same. Instead, it shows that time can change based on things like speed and gravity. This idea shows that time travel is likely to be possible by increasing speed of gravity. Before delving deeper into time travel methods, if you're still with us, hitting the subscribe button would certainly be a worthwhile investment of your time. 1. Time travel with increasing speed Traveling at the speed of light could result in significant time travel. Technology to travel at light speed is not yet available. We currently need more means to build a spacecraft to achieve such speeds. The energy required and the challenges in material science make it a distant goal for now. One example of this phenomenon is Russian astronaut Gennady Padalka, who experienced fascinating circumstances related to time travel. During his extensive time in orbit abroad the International Space Station, moving at high speeds relative to Earth, he effectively traveled 0.02 seconds into the future because time moves slower for objects in motion compared to those at rest. 2. Time travel with increasing gravity Spending time in a greater gravitational field can also cause significant time travel. This means that time passes more slowly in stronger gravitational fields. For example, Jupiter's gravity is about 2.5 times stronger than Earth's, and the gravity of the Sun is about 28 times stronger. If you spend time near the Sun or Jupiter, time would move slightly slower for you compared to someone on Earth. The effect is even more dramatic near a black hole. The intense gravity near a black hole would slow down time significantly. This means that if you are close to a brick hole, time for you would pass much slower than for someone far away from it. The same thing was presented in the movie Interstellar, which showed one hour spent near the black hole equaling seven years on Earth. So, black holes can help in time travel, but it's unclear if anyone could live near a black hole due to its extreme gravity. Black holes are thought to be the most massive objects in the universe, and they bend light around them. Until recently, this bending was just a theory. However, on April 10, 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope captured the first ever image of a black hole, proving this bending of light. 3. Time travel with cryosleep Cryosleep is a third theoretical concept that explores the idea of putting humans into suspended animation for long periods. This process aims to slow down biological functions to a near halt, slowing down aging while time passes at a different rate. This is something that happened to a Japanese man, Mitsutaka Uchikoshi, who went hiking, got lost, and fell into a deep sleep due to the cold. His body's temperature had fallen to just 22 Celsius and entered a state like hibernation, slowing down all his functions. He was found 24 days later and surprisingly survived as if he had been frozen. There have been experiments and studies on inducing hibernation-like states in animals and humans. One notable case is that of a Japanese man who underwent a hibernation-like state for several weeks with no apparent damage to his health. These experiments push the boundaries of our understanding of human physiology and the possibilities of extended space missions or future advancements in medical science. Notably, NASA has been exploring cryosleep chambers envisioning them as a means to enable deep space exploration by reducing astronauts' metabolic rates. Past Time Travel So it's possible to travel into the future, but can we travel back in time? As of now, not really, but we can peek into the past in a cool way. Think about light traveling. It takes a long time to get from one place to another, even though it's super fast. So, if we could get somewhere before the light gets there and then look back, we'd see the past. Stephen Hawking's party experiment shows facts about past time traveling. In 2009, he threw a party for time travelers, but no one showed up. 
That was kind of a fun way to show that time travel to the past might not work out. Einstein's theory doesn't rule out going back in time. He talked about how super strong gravity could make a wormhole in space-time. If we had a massive gravitational field, like near a black hole, it might bend space-time so much that it loops back on itself, creating a kind of time tunnel. This tunnel, called a closed time-like curve, could let us travel to the past, but it's not easy. It would need a ton of energy, including negative energy that pushes against space-time. This idea comes from Nobel Prize winner Kip Thorne, who thinks small wormholes might pop up and vanish in space all the time. But making one big enough for time travel, that's a puzzle we haven't solved yet. It's all just theory for now, but it's a big deal because it comes from a top scientist like Thorne. However, the concept of time travel to the past is not without its paradoxes, one of the most famous being the grandfather paradox. This paradox poses a logical dilemma. If a person were to travel back in time and prevent their own grandfather from meeting their grandmother, thus preventing their own birth, it would create a paradoxical situation. If the person is never born, how could they travel back in time in the first place to prevent their birth? This paradox highlights the inherent complexities and contradictions that arise when considering the consequences of altering past events through time travel. While the idea of traveling to the past seems impossible due to paradoxes like the grandfather paradox, scientific advancements hint at the possibility of traveling to the future by increasing traveling speed or spending time near very high gravity. Practically, traveling at the speed of light is currently beyond our technological capabilities. Similarly, reaching regions of extreme gravity such as near black holes presents unbeatable challenges with today's technology. If we could overcome these challenges using highly advanced technology, we might be able to achieve time travel someday.